Good day everyone and once again we're back together. All right, we're looking at um, that May 2023 exam. So if you haven't subscribed, please just do the right thing and be part of the family. All right, so we're going to be looking at uh, question nine, uh, which is on Euclidean geometry. And they say in the diagram, uh, we've got O, which is the center of the circle, right? A, um, a B, C, D is a, a cyclic quad, right? Now they say use the diagram in the answer book, which is, well, this very diagram, to prove the theorem which states that opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary, right? So, um, so they say prove that B plus D is actually equal to 180, right? Ladies and gents, that proof is really quite uh, simple and I'm going to just show you quickly uh, how to go about that. So what you simply do is you're, you're going to construct, in this case, a radii, okay? So I'm going to construct line OA as well as line OC, right? Okay, from the center to the circumference. And so that becomes, uh, they become our radi, uh, radii uh, in this case. So uh, that means that OC is equal to uh, OA, not that that matters a lot. Right, now, what are we going to do with those lines? I want you to please note. So we know that, okay, so I'm going to call this one O1, okay? And I'm going to call this one O2, this side, uh, all right? So um, so O1 is an, uh, uh, you know, it's an obtuse angle. And I can see that O2 is a reflex angle, right? Now let's get to the proof. So... In proving this, we're simply going to state that in this case, we know that the angle O1, okay, right? Uh, in fact, we should have started with the construction. So we construct in this case, okay, uh, line OA uh, and OB, uh, rather OC, uh, which are radii, right? Okay, so in this case, we simply are going to say, well, line uh, or rather angle O1, okay, will be equal to two times angle B. Okay, right. But why is that? Because we know, right, angle at center, at center, um, equal to two times angle at circumference. Okay, so in this case, we know that angle at center equal twice angle at circumference. So O1 is equal to 2 times B, right? But we also know that angle O2 is equal to 2 times angle D, isn't it? Right? Again, it's the same um, proof that is, I mean, uh, the same reason, right? But now we know that O1 plus O2, right? This is a revolution, okay? So we know this is the sum of angles, okay? Um, on a revolution, in this case, that would be equal to 360, right? So um, we know that O1, angle O1 plus angle O2 will give us 360, Right, so which is in this case uh, rather the reason. So that's angle uh, on a revolution, okay? Or you can say uh, angles around a circle or angles around the point, all right? So in this case, we know that O1 plus O2 gives us 360. So which means that 2D, uh, 2B plus 2D uh, gives us 360, right? So the, which means now we can actually take out uh, a 2 um, as a common factor. So B plus D, this would be equal to 360. I'm sure you can see if we divide both sides by 2, uh, then we get B plus D, okay, being equal to 180. Okay, so in this case, Therefore, we know that uh, the opposite angles of a, cyc a cyclic quad are supplementary, okay? So, therefore, uh, we know that opposite angles 
of a cyclic quad are supplementary meaning that they equal 180 okay so i'll be back again uh, with another part um you know euclidean geometry of course we're still going to do a bit of trick so uh, stay tuned uh, throughout the day i will be giving these as a part of our revision i'll see you guys next time shop shop